Hello, and today we're playing the Reporter Hercules Challenge, where I'm here in game to report on the 1v2 my friend is about to do because I'm not going to really be helping out. I'm going to give minimum effort or no effort into helping Angelic. By the way, Angelic is my friend. He doesn't know anything about this right now, so it's going to be funny to watch him try to 1v2. I mean, the good thing is he's a decent player. However, we don't know who we're going to get matched up in in random twos. So he's doing a pretty good job right now. And as you can see, I'm doing minimal effort, just hitting where I can. And I'm going to try my best to land on all the platforms on the arena so i could look pretty cool i look at me right now i'm on this log don't break it come on don't break it and they broke it that gets me a little mad and i tried to pounce there i need to get away i i don't want to do anything angelic is doing a good job going on doing damage to both of them right now the ymir and king arthur however they don't actually know that i'm not really doing anything so they're not really focusing angelic yet hopefully after this round they kind of get the gist that i'm not really doing much now if they keep attacking me then i'll kind of attack back like how you saw me throw that boulder right there angelic is into that air light air heavy attack what is the Ymir gonna do i don't think he yeah he gave up he gave straight up tackling the king arthur for trying to target me earlier and as you can see there angelic is probably going to be able to secure this off can that boulder hit it does he collects that health orb what's gonna go down see the funny thing is angelic has no idea i'm doing this either so he's probably trying to figure girl like why, why aren't you attacking dude that's probably why he's kite around trying to follow me trying to get him to hit me i don't really agree with that but it's okay i understand angelic right so as you can see king arthur goes in right there angelic also has his ultimate and is not doing anything he's probably trying to wait for me to attack and i refuse it's your job dude do it and he gets stunned so i'm gonna save him out here and oh no wait king arthur slabs up and he doesn't get hit by my last move right there it's funny to see that angelic actually got eliminated I'm trying to be all passive right now i wonder when he's gonna message me on discord to say what are you doing dude what's happening and i'm gonna be like you know what such is life now as you can see here i'm gonna cut around try to eliminate him right here now if my partner gets eliminated it's my job to also take him out and there goes the elimination giving us the point victory right there now i do want to state if you're going to do this challenge make sure you do it with somebody you know personally don't do it with some random twos partner that could be kind of brutal for them if they're just trying to have some time i'm going to climb up here no he broke it with his belly all right so angelic seems to be getting hammered and bodied by the two so i'm just going to chuck my boulders since you know they broke my pillar good thing there's another one over there all right so angelic is going in with the attacks right now king arthur is trying to follow up and gets caught up with the ymir in the updraft the wall however is being a nice block for angelic Ymir is trying to follow suit. The health orb is coming up. Ymir uses his icicle. And as you can see, Angelic kite around looking for an opportunity. Gets hit with the Ymir belly. And King Arthur tried to get me there. But guess what? You weren't quick enough. Stop. Go attack the Susano over there, dude. Leave me alone. Angelic doing some nice side attacks on Ymir in the background. And as you can see right now, Ymir is 70% vulnerability. Gets caught up in the updraft as he puts the wall. He does belly slam me. So I'm going to knock him back a little bit right there. Angelic hitting the King Arthur with a nice air fury attacks. Jumping up right there because the floor is getting pretty low. He could be eliminated if he stays there too long. Goes up for his ultimate. What's going to happen right here? He misses the Ymir who dodges straight through. I use my pounce to avoid this King Arthur who keeps pestering me right now. Angelic catches the Ymir and eliminates him straight out the match but gets stunned by the King Arthur and hits out that emo. King Arthur is hitting out the Soaring Edge, misses it just a little bit, and as you can see here, they're both, well, King Arthur has his ultimate, sorry. Angelic is using his Storm Katana, and what's King Arthur waiting for? An opportunity to save his ultimate just in case. Angelic is in a dangerous situation as he has higher vulnerability. Now, sadly, he wasn't knocked out there. I mean, sorry. It's, it's nice to see Angelic was not knocked out there. King Arthur uses his ultimate, extending the range on his swords, get caught in the Susano's ability, and he tried to get the stun on the Angelic, but it didn't work. Going for the uppercut. Now, they're just kiting around. Who gets the health orb? I believe Angelic, and he gets eliminated. Well, it's all up to me. Reporter Hercules right now, and that's what's going to happen. I'm going to use my pounce. He uses his mobility, and we both basically go to the opposite sides of each other. I get my tackle up, and there it goes. GG. Now, the funny part about this, about playing the Reporter Hercules right now, is that when it comes to it, if Angelic gets eliminated, I get all the glory eliminating them out. You know, it feels really good. All right, so I'm going in my pounce to get some... Oh, oh, oh I landed. I did not expect you. This is the thumbnail. This is probably going to be the thumbnail right here, and I'm going to put... Do not try this. Angelic is doing a good job 2v1, 1v2-ing right now. Hitting back the King Arthur. It seems like the enemy team finally got the gist of this, and they're focusing to Susano. Giving my emote there to give some... Oh, no, the trees, they drop. As you can see there, they're missing some attacks. Oh, the stun off on Angelic. Is he going to get eliminated right here? He needs to be very careful because both of them are very low vulnerability while he's at 89%. Using my pounds just to get some distance between me and them right now. Now, he's at 119% and somehow, somehow he's not eliminated. What's Angelic going to do? He comes in with his mobility right now. 134%. King Arthur goes for the slam, misses it, and gets hit with a light attack fury into the air. Somehow survives. Angelic is in the air with his ultimate and he doesn't use it? I, I think he just... Baited himself in the sky. I'm not actually 100% sure what happened right there. 
Okay, use his last storm katana, trying to avoid abilities right there, catching the Yamiroff in the updraft. And there's the King Arthur right now. What's he doing? He does have his ultimate. Yamir comes on right behind, slamming down. Angelic is somehow still alive, so I'm going to peel for him just a little bit, give him a little chance, and I land on this little platform with my pounce, knocking back the King Arthur, who is probably like, why do you throw the boulder? We were 1v2ing. Okay, so as you can see there, Angelic is right there, getting tossed around like a little baby doll right now. I'm going to jump right over here. Angelic seems to be having a very hard time with these two, and it's okay. He somehow avoids being stunned by the King Arthur. He gets hit out with the belly by the Yamir. Yamir looks to be going in for the ice breath and he gets eliminated by the king arthur but for some reason it says your mirror knocks him out i'm going to collect that health orb simply because i didn't want them to have it i'm going to chuck my boulder right here knocking back some of them but i still get hit with the soaring edge i'm going to go super saiyan right here reporter hercules is not having it right now let's see i i probably popped it a little early i'll be honest with you i wasn't close enough so i'm going to hit him out here king arthur doesn't seem close enough knocking out the ymir yes giving us the point victory after all that work susano put in our angelic put in i was able to come out victorious bringing the victory for the team taking all the glory all right so we're here in this game right now and we're still playing reporter hercules challenge and i'll be very honest with you this time however it's a little different angelic knows he's gonna 1v2 because he messaged me on discord realizing what i was doing and said he wants the 1v2 to increase his skill so he's going at it against a loki and a king arthur is he gonna be able to pull this off we're about to find out in this episode of dragon ball z because i'll be honest with you if he fails i'm ready here to take him out once they're high enough vulnerability that is he catches both of them up in an updraft i'm just gonna peel a little bit because you remember hercules challenge basically states i don't do much i can't intervene once in a while just chucking little things here and there but more of the time angelic is doing the 1v2 he's catching them off with a nice storm katana they're actually all even vulnerability which is interesting right there loki's looking to kite around and gets hit by the attacks by angelic what's the king arthur going to do trying to help his opponent but missing loki does knock him out going to hit the boulder right there and what happened to the loki he pops acrobatic strikes and doesn't hit angelic which was really weird he could have actually follow through with it and angelic right now going for the storm katana knocking them out a loki may get eliminated right there he does popping the ultimate does it catch the king arthur yes it does and knocks him back but not enough to get him out of the game what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to look for an opportunity if i could actually get king arthur out like right at the edge where i think i can catch him off with my pounce so he uses his ultimate real perfect opportunity oh no i missed oh, i hit him back on the arena that would have been pretty cool it probably would have gotten angelic a little mad too now remember angelic is my friend so i'm allowed to do this and angelic with the susano brings home the victory for our team now we're going to see what happens in the second round if these two are going to go more aggressive on angelic or what's going to happen it seems right here he goes off immediately going into storm katana doing some nice damage backing up he's clumping them up which is very smart and i think that's a mistake the enemy team is doing they're staying too close together what they should wait you see how angelic went up on the loki king arthur should have immediately gone in to save his partner peeling for him and doing some damage is angelic going to eliminate the loki right there no but loki is at 77 percent vulnerability he hits them back with his first dodge hey man that was that was so uncalled for he destroyed my Podium. I was standing up there looking cool as ever. That was unnecessary. But okay, I digress. Now we're seeing him going on the Loki. Loki's very high vulnerability right now. King Arthur destroys my rock. Come on, guys. Oh, they get caught off in the ultimate. Both of them together. Angelic tried to go off in the sky. Is he going to be able to eliminate the King Arthur? It doesn't seem like I really got to do much right here. And you can see King Arthur counters the Susuno, knocking him back down. Gets caught in the updraft and... Oh, okay, so Angelic didn't go off. He went again with the air light. What is he doing? I think he's trying to throw him off. He goes in with the light attacks, then air light into the heavy, knocking him straight out as he increased his vulnerability just enough. Susano players, when they're very good, are so deadly and annoying to fight. Now, the thing is, I would love to see more Susano players in the game since there's a lot of new players happening right now. Ooh, he catches both of them up and they're finally working a little better together going off on the susano increasing his vulnerability and they both again clump up which allows angelic to simultaneously do damage to them which is not very good for the enemy team as they're taking a lot of free damage together now he dashes forward dashing again trying to avoid damage the king arthur hits him slowing him down he wasn't able to land the stun and again he does a lot of clumped up damage on the both of them they're about over 70 percent vulnerability all of them are technically kind of even right now it can still go anyway the loki somehow survives that and getting tossed around now the ultimate comes out from susano catches the king arthur and it brings out the elimination as you can see there loki hits angelic while he was in the sky trying to avoid him there they both clash together angelic using storm katana going straight and catches him in the last rotation air light air heavy attack knocking loki back what's the loki going to do and he gets caught in the updraft and eliminated by the Susano. If you're wondering why I went to try to steal it, because I thought it would have been cool for the video, 
However, it didn't really work. So we're here in this next round right here, and we're facing off against a Saul and a King Arthur. There are a lot of King Arthurs lately. Now, I don't blame them. These are two S-class characters in terms of the tier list that I created, if you want to check that out. Now, obviously, it's a new game, so these two do not know yet that I'm not going to get involved. So I'm kind of waiting for round two or just for them to go, okay, so Hercules isn't doing anything and they changed their mind. Combustion comes out for the Saul. Angelic's able to clearly avoid that and do some damage. Saul has taken a lot of damage compared to the King Arthur, and Susano turns on King Arthur, finally landing some light attacks, coming out with the last end of Storm Katana. The heavy attack comes out from Saul and misses. Now, they both need to be very careful not to clump up right now. And as you can see there, the combustion does work, hitting Susano, interrupting him back. The stun does not work, and Susano was able to avoid it. Susano takes to the sky using his ultimate, catches both of them as they clumped up, and that should be the elimination for the Saul player. Now for King Arthur, is he going to be able to turn this off? He gets caught in the updraft, getting ready to be knocked back. The spins coming in, he avoids the ultimate of King Arthur easily right there. King Arthur allowing himself to get some space and swinging his mighty sword around. They finally clash. Health orb is coming up. I'm going to... Oh, okay. I was, I was going to try to collect it. But Angelic here could have eliminated him out. I don't know what Angelic is doing right now. And as you can see, King Arthur is taking full advantage of that and landing some attacks. They're both over very high vulnerability. This can go either way still. And as you can see, Angelic may eliminate him right there. I don't know what he's doing. He should just end it. And King Arthur uses his mobility to get back on the platform, interrupting right there. He does have a nice speed boost. And as you can see, the helicopter is still coming around. And there goes the knockback for it. Ooh, the perfect stun right there. King Arthur could have eliminated himself right there with a heavy attack. Angelic comes in with the mobility, knocking him back out. And what's going to happen? There comes the soaring edge. Now, as you can see, the Storm Katana is coming out there. Both even. They can either be knocked up by some heavy light attacks on the edge or not. There goes the ultimate from the Susano, and it misses the King Arthur. Now, the sun comes in and misses, and they're all going up in the sky, and the King Arthur is finally eliminated by the Susano. What's going to happen in the second round? The team was able to bring one point to us. Now, we're going to see as the game starts. Now, I'm assuming these two understand now. It's just going to be a little 1v2 between those two. Saul seems to be aiming at me. I'm trying my best to avoid her. And Angelic is taking some steep damage right now from the King Arthur. Saul again trying to follow me out. I don't know why. She could be focusing to help her partner out win this game. So I'm going to jump up on this platform and kite around while I'm trying my best to commentate. Angelic goes in for some nice side attacks on the King Arthur, catching him in an updraft right now. I'm going to use my boulder just to knock Saul back a little bit, dodging through. I'm going to look to jump back on the platform. The King Arthur is struggling a little bit, but being able to counter the Susuno is something good that he's finally be able to land. He allows Susuno to get the 75%. They're both doing really well right now. The Saul is looking from behind. King Arthur gets knocked out. Saul lands some light attacks, increasing the vulnerability. And as you can see, Susano uses his ultimate, but the King Arthur immediately dodges through King Arthur does have his ultimate if he plays it right he may be able to do something this Saul is really trying to get me I don't know why you could help your partner eliminate Susano and there comes out the King Arthur ultimate who's doing some nice damage lands the soaring edge and he avoids the updraft by Susano, swinging around his mighty sword. Salt, seriously, dude, stop. Now note, Angelic is over 100% vulnerability in a really dangerous range right now. Could be knocked out at any moment. And there, I think he got stunned, not 100% sure. Saul uses the ultimate on me. Could have used it on the Susano. And there goes the heavy attack. And Saul comes out somehow, eliminating Angelic right there. That's funny. All right, so I'm going to take you out, little fire girl, even though you should be stronger than me. Okay, so coming in there, air light, air heavy attack. I do have my ultimate. Going to wait for her, see what she does. If she comes in with her mobility, it'd be perfect time right here. Use my ultimate and boom, eliminating her out, bringing the victory and the glory to reporter Hercules himself. And that right there gives us a second point victory. Now we're at 2-0. Is the enemy team going to work together to take out the enemy Sosuno, giving them a chance at victory? Now, as you can see here, the King Arthur and Sosuno are going at it once more right now. And Sosuno is dealing some damage on the King Arthur. However, note, they're about even in vulnerability, so it can go either way right now. And Saul is chilling as a spectator. Reporter Saul is up there right now reporting on the scene. I think that's pretty funny. On the rock. Hopefully the rock stays alive so it doesn't get broken. Oh no, and there goes the King Arthur. Now, King Arthur did very good and put up a fight. Now it's for the Saul to take on Sosuno. I think reporter Saul may have a very good chance right now. Throws out the fireball, comes in with the heavy attack, avoided by the Susano, and Susano's jumping around right now. Saul is trying to land some light attacks off, and what's going to happen? I'm jumping around too, since we all want to jump for the party. Gets the combustion off on the Susano, goes in for her mobility. I got the podium back. It's mine. This is my tower right now. And as you can see, the heavy attack hit the Susano, knocking him back, and throws the fireball. 
Now we're going to look to see what happens. And Saul is doing her thing. Combustion comes out. Hits me because I was a little too close to the action. It happens when you're reporting. It's very dangerous at the moment. As you can see, Susano's not really doing much. I don't know why. That's not the point of this video. What are you doing? You're supposed to be fighting, trying to eliminate her out. If you're not going to fight, just jump off the edge. That way I'll be able to fight. But I think that's the point. I think that's what Nichelik is doing right now. He knows. He's trying to get me to break this challenge. That's probably what he's intending on doing. As you can see, Saul misses her ultimate. And Susano is just continuously cutting around. Finally gets hit by an attack. Which is very good. Combustion comes out eliminating Susano out. Okay. Now it's my turn. Now, hopefully, I'm not a little rusty, but Reporter Hercules is on the scene. I tried to use my pounce there initially, but it didn't get off. Gonna try to collect a speed boost, and I do. Now I'm super fast with a giant club in my hand. Light attack, dodging back. I should not have dodged. That was that was actually a wasted dodge. And boom, interrupt, knocking back. I do have my ultimate, but it's way too early to use it. So I'm gonna chuck my boulder right here, see if it hits, come in with the charge. Okay, no, wait, hold up. She used her mobility. Now I'm coming in with the charge, knocking her back, seeing if I can get some attacks. Boom, recalling back, knocking her back again with some air attacks. And I tried to be a little fancy right there, but it didn't work. I do have my ultimate. It's probably almost time for it right here, chucking the boulder, and it's time for Super Saiyan mode. Just gotta dodge through this, collect the health orb, and he oh, I was gonna pop it right there, but it didn't work out as planned. Now I need to get close to her, popping it right here again. Boom, boom. Knock out. Oh, nice little dodge there. If Saul was able to get on the platform, she would have survived. Now there goes a GG.